We're now standing at the main gates of the jail. In June 1841, they brought 119 male prisoners and 50 female prisoners up from the And that jail. became the flagship jail. Prison conditions by 1914 were dreadful, you know, the women's prison. They chose this site on the top of the hill because it was overlooking the town and it reminded um, the people that it was still a penal colony. During the um, years of the prison, there were 76 people hanged here. When the prisoners first, first arrived, there were only three buildings. Last public hanging was 1852, but the last flogging in New South Wales was 1905. <laughs> for the jail. It was built in 1870. Sometimes conscious of all the people literally buried under some of the buildings. Uh, uh, Long-term prisoners decided, I suppose, they didn't have anything. Uh, uh, we're now at the jail chapel, and this is where um, one of the famous inmates, Louis Bertrand, Along with another prisoner worked. named Frank Pearson, they designed and made the stained glass window that, that you can see. Until 1912, the buildings now known as East Sydney Technical College were Sydney's jail. And in 1921, the Department of Technical Education established itself within its walls. And in about 1922-23, the School of Art and Design made East Sydney Technical College its headquarters. The art school was always fighting for funds. When Carr uh, resigned in 2005, he put the art school up for tender because he thought that we should be funded by a university. Macquarie University um, put in a tender and so did the University of New South Wales. They've both since um, pulled out on that. Uh, this means that we are once again in limbo and waiting to find out who will uh, support us and fund us in the future.